Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is Tuesday, October the 2nd, 2018, and I'm back with another video. This one is kind of an update on cast iron cleaning, maintenance, and just a couple of things that I ran across. Um, one was a video I watched on YouTube. Another was something a friend had said, and just wanted to kind of relay that information to you. Um, when it comes to cast iron, I'm always trying to learn new things, and I'm open to new ideas, but I always totally research them and vet them first before applying them and I suggest you do the same don't take my word for it do research I will leave a couple of links below in the description as to the resources that I refer to now what you're looking at is a dirty number seven Griswold cast iron skillet I made an omelet this morning and um, or later this morning almost lunchtime um, and it needs to be cleaned, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean it out. Well, I do this, I want to talk to you guys about, we're going to go ahead and move it over to the sink here. We're going to go ahead and use some warm running water. And I'm going to pause this until it gets warm. Here, water's getting warm, and what we want to do is just kind of wipe the pan down. Wipe it out with a paper towel. Get all the stuff out of it that we can. We don't want to use any soap. You can use soap after you have a lot of layers of seasoning built up, but it's not recommended if you've recently reseasoned your cast iron. So we want to put some warm water in there, and we're going to just use some non-abrasive chain mail or non-abrasive um, plastic sponges to get all the, let me go ahead and turn off the water, to get all the food residue out of the pan. Now the video that I was watching had said, every time you use your cast iron, you need to clean it. And I agree with that. This channel is a very big following and some of the stuff that he says, I don't always agree with. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and, and talk about that. I happened to watch the video the other day which is what kind of caused me to make this video. So anyway, I'm just using chain mail here just to uh, clean it out with warm water. Make sure to get all the, the uh, food and residue out of the pan. The cleaning part actually comes from the high heat uh, when you clean. Now, this individual did state that you clean every time you use a skillet. I agree with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it out a little bit here. It's nice and black every time you use it. It becomes blacker and blacker and blacker. And this is my omelet pan. It's still a little brown, uh, dark brown on the back side. But at any rate, we're going to go ahead and take it over to the stove. But I do agree um, with what he said as to cleaning every time you use it. If you don't have time to clean, then don't use it that day. As simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove to medium. And we're going to let this thoroughly dry out. Now the other two things this channel had said was the type of um, oil they use on seasoning or mini seasoning or oils that they would ingest or they don't want to use oils they wouldn't ingest. So this individual uses flaxseed oil and olive oil. I don't see any issues with olive oil. Uh, the smoke point isn't quite as high. Uh, you may not get as tough of a surface when you use it, but you can use it. Um, if just mini, just make sure it dries. Make sure it polymerizes. Anything after 350 degrees left long enough, just make sure it's dry and not sticky. It'll be okay. But I don't like flaxseed oil for the following reasons. Number one, you really don't, you're, it's not recommended that you cook with it and eat it. Number two, it flakes off relatively easily. It doesn't make a good solid surface. Um, it is not durable over time, so it will tend to it will tend to flake off with use. And I just see a couple of things on here I don't like as I'm letting this skillet dry out. I'm kind of really fussy about my cast iron. I like it to be just so. Okay. Anyway, get back to the video. Uh, flaxseed isn't relatively available, and it's basically the um, edible version of linseed oil, which is used in paints or furniture polish. 
uh, I don't like the thought of ingesting that. And it's expensive and it's not relatively available. You have to get it online either at Amazon, which I really don't shop at if I can help it, um, or Vitacost.com. So taking flaxseed out of the equation, he likes olive oil. Uh, olive oil is okay. Uh, just a caveat in olive oil. If you guys like extra virgin olive oil, which is what I prefer to use to um, cook with, the olive oil made in Italy may not be all olive oil. They export more olives or olive oil than they reproduce. So just something I came across the other day. A friend told me about it, so I ended up getting um, extra virgin olive oil made in Spain. This is a non-GMO product. And it's won the New York Times, uh, let's see, what does it say here? Uh, best choice by the New York Times, and a lot of our local chefs uh, like to use it. So that's just my note on olive oil. But the best uh, seasoning or mini seasoning agents you can use are the famous Crisco All Vegetable Shortening. It's very durable over time. It pol polymerizes very good on the pan. It leaves a very hard surface. As long as you put a thin layer on, wipe a thin layer off and let it bake dry. The other thing you can do, use is olive oil cooking spray. You can use Pam cooking spray, sunflower oil, and other sprays like that. So now this thing has been heated up um, on, the, on the stove. I'm going to go ahead and just spray a very thin layer on the skillet. I'm going to go ahead and spread it all around so it's nice and even. Just a good review on how to keep your cast iron in perfect working order. And every time you do this, you just build up the seasoning. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. As it gets hot, I'm going to go ahead and put my handle gripper on. I bought some silicone handle grippers, but I really don't like them. They slip in my hands. I'm taking my shop vac towels that are lint-free. I'm wiping it real good. I'm putting a layer on and a layer off. And that way it'll be it'll dry real easily. It'll form a hard, durable layer. We're gonna go ahead and do the back. Since we already had used our rag to do the inside of the skillet, we're gonna do the back side of the skillet it's in the same way. Do the handle and sometimes the sprays are really good to use also especially if you have things like cornbread pans muffin pans pans with a lot of nooks and crannies that are hard to get with just uh, a rag and and so forth so now that we're going to do this just you wipe it on and you wipe it off and we're going to let it sit there until it starts to smoke very simple so at any rate you want it to polymerize. You want it to develop that, that hardened, hardened, nonstick surface. And every time you do this, the plant pan just gets blacker and blacker. You really aren't going to ingest much of that in eating. Um, there aren't any conclusive studies on that, but anything in moderation is okay. But flaxseed oil, they don't recommend using it. And if it flakes off, it's already been heated, and the chemicals, the chemical um, changes in it, um, or inconclusive as to long-term health. So I wouldn't recommend it. So I disagreed with that on this guy's video. Um, you just want to keep your stuff in good working order. And you want to make sure you're healthy in the process. And I don't think you're ingesting any Crisco when you use it. But I like Crisco because Crisco has a lower smoke point than some of the other oils. But still will polymerize after 350 degrees. Actually, no, I take that back. Crisco actually has a higher smoke point. Uh, in the oven. Uh, vegetable shortening Crisco is 490 degrees, but I find if I use it in regular seasoning, 400 degrees for an hour and a half, it's long enough to bake it. How you get non-sticky surfaces is allowing the oil to bake on and thoroughly dry. That's the key. If you find your cast iron is sticky, just give it a little bit more heat until it thoroughly dries. That's what I would recommend. So, I'm letting this guy cook on the stove right now. It's at medium temperature. Uh, we put a thin layer on the inside and on the um, outside. And again, wiped the thin layer off. And now we're letting it cook onto the pan and polymerize and form that 
uh, carbonized residue, which becomes our nonstick surface. Um, I will leave some things in below in the description, but if you do this every time you cook, then you will be okay with your cast iron. It's going to look great, and even if you don't use it for a while, you go back to the, the pantry where you have it or the cupboard where you store them, they're still going to be dry and they're not going to be sticky. So, at any rate, this is not quite smoking yet. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to show you what it looks like just before I take it off the burner. Okay, guys, it is starting to smoke. You can see there how it's pebbling. And I don't like the effects of that, so what I'm going to do is further wipe it down and position the tripod. And we're going to go ahead and wipe it down so it's nice and smooth. All around, even the sides of the pan, because I use this for my omelets, they need to slide out easily. If you turn it over, you can see the smoke coming off of the skillet. So, we'll go ahead and turn off the burner. And just let the pan cool down. And if you do that every time you cook, you're going to be good to go. Another thing you can do is actually do a mini seasoning. Is just to warm up a pan like that on the stove. Until it's nice and hot. And then you put your, olive, or you put your seasoning of choice on. Wipe it off again and then put it in the oven if you're doing baked potatoes or meatloaf at 400 degrees for an hour put it go ahead and put it in the oven give it another layer of seasoning just you're using the oven anyway it doesn't cost you anything extra just use the extra rack so just another tip for the day anyway guys i really appreciate you watching and please leave a comment or a question below and go make it a great day